Hey, what's up everybody? It's back to school time, and so I'm sure that especially if you're just getting started going to college, if this is your first time, the whole process can be really daunting. And I know that almost seven years ago when I first started with my undergraduate studies, the whole process seemed so foreign to me, and I didn't really quite know where to begin. With this video though, I want to help you guys give you some advice on everything that you need to know to navigate the wild, wild world of college from the simple stuff all the way to the more advanced technology type things that you might want to have when you get started. And just so that way you know, since this is a pretty broad and wide ranging video, you can feel free to use the timestamps to skip around wherever you want. Before we get started, please remember to drop a like and to subscribe. And remember that this is just a guide. The products that I mention here in this video are the ones that work for me and the ones that I can personally recommend after having used them for a very long time and using them on a daily basis even till today. But if you like an alternative, feel free to invest elsewhere. You don't need to use all of the recommendations that I give you here. But this is just to kind of get you started and thinking about things that you might want to invest in for your college journey. All of the things that I mentioned will also be linked down below. And you'll want to watch the video all the way through because I will be giving away two free keys to Parallel's desktop in this video. They will be a full year license and they'll give you the full version. So. That will be in the video for absolutely free. So thank you guys for being with me for this video. Let's get straight into it. So starting off with one of the most important things that you're gonna to wanna to have, and that's going to be a bag. You're gonna be needing a backpack to carry all of the stuff from your dorm to your class and everywhere in between. So it's definitely important to invest in a bag that's going to be comfortable, stylish enough, have enough room to hold all of your daily essentials, and for years now, the product that I've been using is the UAG Standard Issue 24 liter backpack. Now, unfortunately, they have since discontinued that particular size, so they no longer carry the 24 liter, which is the large version. They now just have the smaller one, which is an 18 liter. Still, it's gonna be a pretty large backpack that will be able to carry all of the essentials that you need, your laptop, tablet, books, pens, calculators, water bottle, all of those things, but it's, like I said, just gonna be a little bit smaller. The reason why I recommend UAG is because they're extremely well made, they're very high quality, they have waterproof zippers, so if you get caught out in the rain, you don't have to worry about your electronics getting damaged. They look pretty stylish, and they're very, very comfortable for using for a long period of time. So I would definitely recommend picking one of those up. If you have a bit larger of a budget and you also like camera gear, I would highly recommend the PGY Tech 32 liter bag or the 45 liter bag. Both of those are absolutely incredible. They are quite a bit more expensive than the UAG. And like I said, they're more designed for camera equipment but they are fantastic bags and they are probably the most comfortable bags I've ever used. And many of you guys are gonna be living on dorms on campus and so that's gonna be a pretty huge adjustment. So here I have some recommendations for dorm life. Get yourself a Philips Sonicare Diamond Clean 9700 right now. Although I know that this is about $400 and it seems like a pretty big investment, and it is, if you can afford it, this is going to be the best all-around toothbrush that you'll ever get. It'll last you a lifetime. The brush heads also have lasted me about two and a half years. You get so many of them with this bundle, and that's why I really recommend this one over perhaps one of the cheaper versions. It has a smartphone app, so if you want to sort of use that to track your brushing and all of that, it has those features as well. Wireless charge charge carrying case which is great for if you're needing to go between home and your dorm you can just throw your toothbrush in there with a couple of brush heads and be on your way it's really really convenient in that regard so i would highly recommend that on the topic of oral hygiene i would also recommend the philips sonicare water flosser 3000 this is much more economical at just under 70 dollars and if you don't like flossing with traditional string like myself this will definitely fit your style perfectly. It's easy to use, has USB-C rechargeable uh, capabilities, a built-in battery. It'll last for quite a while, I think about 12 days or so, and it'll help to keep your mouth clean and fresh. So 
Definitely something that I would recommend. And continuing on with the topic of grooming products, you'll definitely want to check out the offerings from Manscaped, like the Toolbox 4.0 for about 150 bucks, and the Beard Hedger for about $99. If you're a dude, there's nothing worse than going out with a lot of scruff all over your face where you have stray hairs or you're starting to build up that neck beard. Nobody really wants to see that, so keep yourself looking clean and fresh with Manscaped. They offer extremely high quality grooming products and I've been using them for months now. They're pretty reasonable in terms of their prices. They'll last you a lifetime again. They're all waterproof and they are fantastic. I've been using the lawnmower, shears, beard hedger, and the weed whacker for several months now and I cannot recommend them enough. So definitely if you're looking for new products to keep yourself looking clean, absolutely go with them. To keep all of your bathroom stuff like shampoo and your Manscaped and Philips products together so that way they don't get stolen and make it easier for you to transport them from your room to the bathroom, you're definitely going to want to pick up a nice webbed shower caddy. So this one here that I'm recommending is only $9.00. It's a must-have. It makes traveling from your room to the bathroom a breeze, and it also ensures that you don't lose any of your stuff, which can be a pretty big problem in dorms. People like to steal things, you know, stuff happens. But this will help to make sure that that doesn't happen to you and that you keep on moving on with the products that you came here with. Now, to keep... <clears throat> Now, on the topic of bathroom essentials, you'll also definitely want to invest in some nice waterproof sandals for the shower. And for the past seven years, I've been using the Okabashi sandals, which are about $25, and they are absolutely worth every single penny. They're extremely high quality, they have a great tread on them, so you don't go slipping around whenever you're walking on wet surfaces. And these will keep your feet from touching the possibly gross public bathroom floors or showers. So I would highly recommend getting these. They're not necessarily an essential, but for me, they kind of are. So um, if you are like me, definitely go ahead and pick these up. Inside of your dorm, you may also find that over time, you drop some food, dust bunnies start building up, other sorts of crumbs and things start populating your area and it starts to get a little bit dirty and gross or your desktop gets uh, some Cheeto dust or something like that, you're definitely going to want to invest in a small and lightweight vacuum. My recommendation here is going to be the Brigitte H5. This comes in a small compact USB-C rechargeable body and it has two models with several attachments. So the two models you can get either the base station one, which allows you to have all of your tools and everything out and about in a nice convenient package, or you can have the wall mounted one for a little bit cheaper. Regardless, it's about $75. It's got two modes so that we have a high vacuum mode and a lower vacuum mode. It's definitely gonna work out pretty great for you and it'll have enough power to clean even your floors. So I would definitely recommend this and add it to your shopping cart straight away. Another thing that you'll find out quite quickly is that the bed on your dorm is completely naked and you're definitely going to want to cover that with some bed sheets, pillowcases, comforter, all of that stuff. Generally speaking, these are all going to be twin XL size mattresses, so if you pick up anything that can fit that bed size, you will be set. If your college dorm doesn't have a problem with it, also I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting yourself a memory foam mattress pad, considering that these beds are horribly uncomfortable. Your back will thank you for it. Lastly, for the essentials, I want to recommend picking up some 6-inch Timberland boots because I'm from New York and everybody in New York wears Timberlands. Duh. But seriously though, these are the most durable footwear that I've ever owned. They got me through my entire time as an undergrad and I still wear them even to this day. They're a bit pricey at $210, but they will last a lifetime, honestly, and they look fantastic. So. They are pretty timeless and they'll do you well. So I would definitely recommend investing. Now moving on to technology, one of the huge parts of college is of course going to be technology. Pretty much everything that we do now is on computers or tablets. So I have some recommendations for you guys. Starting off with one of the devices that has helped me out the most in my time at college, and that is going to be the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Currently, I recommend, of course, the newest model, which is the 6th generation M2 with 256 gigs of storage. This will give you enough storage to do anything that you want to do, hold your documents, files, mark things up, take notes, anything that you want to do, this can store it. 
Um, I don't really recommend going too much higher than this as you start to run into a bit of diminishing returns, but if you can justify the price for more storage, definitely go with as much as you can afford. But for the 256 gig model, it's going to be a pretty large investment at $1,150, although I do think that it is well worth it considering that it has that nice liquid Retina XDR display with 120 hertz refresh rate, dual camera setup, face ID, and of course that amazing M2 chip. If this is a bit out of your budget though and you want something a little bit more portable, I would recommend picking up the 11 inch version, so that's going to run you $850 for the same 256 gig model. Unfortunately though, this model is not going to have that Liquid Retina XDR display, it's just going to have the standard Liquid Retina display, which does not have the 1 million to 1 contrast ratio or the 1600 nit peak HDR brightness, but it does look great and it still has that 120 hertz refresh rate for silky smooth operation with my next recommendation, which is of course the Apple Pencil second generation at just about $70 right now. And if you want to use this as more of a laptop replacement, I would also suggest picking up the Magic Keyboard cases. Although they're a bit expensive at $289 for the 12.9 inch and $279 for the 11 inch models, I think they offer really great value, like the floating design, the backlit keyboard, the touchpad, and in the case of the 12.9 inch, it has a full-sized keyboard with the scissor mechanism on both. Absolutely fantastic. I really cannot recommend these enough. I use them every single day. They last pretty well. If you're a little bit worried about the uh, durability of them, I would definitely recommend throwing on a D-Brand skin or something like that. Um, as I have on mine. If these iPads are a bit too pricey though, I would definitely recommend picking up the 256 gig iPad mini 6th generation at just 749. This little device is small, it's lightweight, and the most important thing for me is that it supports the Apple Pencil 2nd generation because that is by far the best way to experience college, in my opinion, is to have these iPads with the Apple Pencil second generation, you'll have access to unlimited digital notes and it's gonna feel like you're actually writing on a piece of paper, especially if you pick up a paper like screen protector, which I'll also leave linked down below. They are fantastic, I've been using them for years. Some people complain that they cut down on the contrast and the brightness of your display, which sure, that is a bit of a drawback, but I think that the benefit of having that paper-like feeling is worth the compromise, and I personally love them. So if you want to invest in a laptop, though, I would highly recommend picking up either the M2 MacBook Air 13-inch with 512 gigs for $999, or the 15 gigabyte 256 gig model for $1249. Although personally, I use the M1 Max 16 inch, which has 32 gigabytes of RAM, and it also has that 32 core GPU and a terabyte of storage. That's going to be way overkill for you at nearly $4,000. I don't think it's going to be worth it for most college students. I personally need it for my uh, scientific research, but if you don't need it, I wouldn't go that crazy. I would just stick with the MacBook Air. It offers more than enough performance for most people and it'll do you well for many years to come. And while you work, you may also want to invest in an external monitor. Personally, I use a 34 inch LG ultrawide monitor, as you can see in my setup right here. And one of the things that I love about it most is the additional horizontal screen real estate that it gives me at 2560 by 1080 it's basically like having two 16 by 9 inch monitors stacked side by side. You may also choose to go with a bit of a different alternative which is the Xreal Air. Now this is a portable projector system that's all housed inside of a sleek glasses frame and it gives you a large theater-like experience when you get work done or if you want to watch movies or even play games. Both will work wonderfully for this, but I think that if you want to learn more about the x Air, Airs, I have tons of videos on that on my channel, and you can make your decision after you watch those. And while you're on the go, you're definitely going to want to have something to charge your devices up, and that's where the Ugreen Gallium Nitride 100 watt charger comes into play. This is something that I've been using for a while now, and at under $100, this gives you three USB-C ports, a USB-A port, 
and it's small and compact. Definitely, this is a pretty great product. It'll be able to charge your MacBook, your iPad, your smartphone, and even one more device all at the same time with no problems whatsoever. So I would highly recommend that. And if your budget allows for it and you want to have no reliance on wall outlet, I would pick up the OmniCharge 20 Plus. This is another great option considering that's a 70 watt hour battery. It's going to be plane safe so you can take it on the airplane, not have any issues. And it also has a wall charger built into it so you can just plug in anything that uses a standard AC outlet and it'll be able to power it as long as the power requirements are not greater than 100 watts. So wrapping up here, you'll also likely want to have a pair of noise canceling headphones. And for that, I would recommend the AirPods Pro second generation as they do a phenomenal job of canceling out background noise. They deliver great battery life, excellent call quality, have great sound quality for being truly wireless earbuds and for just $200 I think you can't go wrong with these. If you do prefer over-the-ear headphones though I would recommend picking up the Sony WH-1000XM5s for $390 or if you're a baller you can go ahead and pick up the AirPod Maxes for right around $550 although they do go on sale and I think on Amazon you can get them for a little bit cheaper than that. I wouldn't really recommend picking them up right now though because they're probably going to be coming out with new ones soon but those are headphones that I use uh, on the daily. So, And if you're also in the mood for great audio in your dorm and you don't want to have headphones, I would recommend picking up the Altec Lansing Rockbox XL 2.0, which is a waterproof stereo speaker with two drivers and a subwoofer. It features full RGB front panel, which can be customized to one of six lighting modes with the 20 hours of battery life that it delivers for $229. I think this is an outstanding deal. It gets very, very loud. It has great rich audio with good dynamic range, and I've been using it pretty happily for the past several months. And I have a video on that, again, right up here if you want to take a look. So the last thing that I want to mention here before we get going is the software. So for the Mac, I would highly recommend picking up Parallels. This is going to be an essential for you if you need to use Windows on your Mac. This piece of software will definitely save your life because Apple Silicon Macs, it's impossible to run Windows through Boot Camp since Apple Silicon doesn't support that. But if you use Parallels, you'll be able to actually run full Windows 11 on Apple Silicon or Windows 10 on some of the older Intel Macs. Regardless of what you have, this is going to work out amazingly for you. And I'm giving away right now two one-year licenses, so be sure to pause the video to grab yourself a free copy of Parallels. Hopefully you are one of the ones who can actually activate these. Um, it just kind of depends on, I guess, how fast you watch the video. And so for the iPad, the reason why I really recommend Apple products so highly is for the Apple Pencil and for its performance inside of Notability and GoodNotes. Both are outstanding note-taking applications, and personally, I prefer Notability for writing and taking notes, but I do love GoodNotes for its file system and chapter markers for certain PDF documents. It makes it really easy to navigate them, especially if you're reading a lot. I think that GoodNotes has a lot of utility, and I love their file system. But Notability is amazing since it's so simple and easy to get started and offers tons of amazing note-taking features that you'll absolutely love. Like I said, personally, I think that Notability is the best all-around note-taking app, so if you're going to invest in one, I would invest in that one. But with that being said, these are all of my recommendations, and I hope that you guys got a lot out of this video. Please drop a comment down below, and remember to smash that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.